If we have a color sample, that means that such sample is able to absorb light. If we shine light of a certain intensity, let's say P0 in our sample, what will happen? Some part of it will get absorbed and some will go through. We will call to the intensity of the light that goes through P1. One way to evaluate the relationship between P0 and P1 is called transmittance. The percentage of transmittance is defined at the ratio of P1 to P0 times 100. There are instruments that can measure that value. In our experiment, we will use something called a colorimeter that is able to measure the percentage of transmittance for different colors of light. We will see that later. Let's concentrate on what will happen when we have two solutions of different concentration. Think about it. What will happen if we shine light of the same intensity onto these two different solutions? The solution that is more concentrated will absorb more light than the more diluted. We can say that P1 is larger than P2, and of course, for every sample, we will have a different value of percentage of transmittance. Let's say we have samples of different concentrations, C1, C2, C3, and C4. If we analyze every one of them, we will have a value of transmittance for every one. How could look like a graph of concentration versus percentage of transmittance? You will have to find out. Not only that, it is possible to find a mathematical relationship between concentration and percentage of transmittance. These are just some of the options. You will have to find out which one will adjust the data in your graph. Now let's take a look at the experimental setup. The first thing we have to do is to configure the PDA to receive the measurements from the sensor. Turn on your PDA and press Start and After Sensor Configuration. Look, and if in the box next to Sensor 1 doesn't say Ultraviolet A, press Set Range and find Ultraviolet A at the end of the list. Click on it and you are ready to go. Press OK and OK again. If we have a color sample, as we said before, to study the dependence of percentage of transmittance with concentration, we have to prepare different solutions. On the left, we can see our stock solution, which is very concentrated. From that solution, we will take different volumes and put it in every one of the graduated cylinders. What we are showing here is just an example. You will have to find the correct volumes that work every sample. Once you finish adding your stock, you will fill up the graduated cylinders with water. For simplicity, all of our solutions have the same final volume. Can you calculate the final concentration of the different solutions? One more thing, do not forget to mix the solutions truly. It must be homogeneous before using it. You can see now the experimental setup. In front of the PDA, there are two cubettes. 
one with the sample and one with the solvent, which will be our blank. First, we introduce our blank and then press the calibration button, which is marked with the letters C A L. That will set up the instrument at 100% transmittance. Now we can introduce our sample. The instrument will tell you which is the percentage of transmittance. You will have to repeat this for every one of your samples. That's it! Now you can begin to work in your experiment.